For all the naysayers who still believe dessert can't be healthy, I'm here to squash those doubts. This recipe is so simple and delicious, and it's packed with potassium, vitamin A, and fiber. So who needs Halloween when we can make pumpkin pies less ghetto cousin throughout the year? Today's recipe, butternut squash pie. Check out the largest selection of fresh produce found anywhere, only at melissas.com. We're going to start by cutting the stem off of this beautiful butternut and then set it on its base and carefully slice downward through the middle. Make sure you have a sharp knife for this one. And then, using a spoon, scoop out all the seeds which can either be discarded or you can rinse, dry, and bake them the same as you would pumpkin seeds. Next, we're going to place them face down on a foil lined cookie sheet and then into a preheated oven where we'll let them cook for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Mmm, they already smell so good. Normally, I'd just eat them with butter, but we have big plans for these babies. Between the two halves, we're going to scoop out two cups or 16 ounces of squash. Knock knock, who's there? Butternut, butternut who? Butternut forget to like and subscribe for two new easy and delicious recipes each week. Next, we're going to add two large eggs and about a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Any brand will do. And by the way, coconut sweetened condensed milk is a great substitute. And finally, our secret spice mix, which you can find in the description. Then it's time to beat it with the hand mixer until smooth. And I know what you're thinking. You can't wait to lick the beaters. But in this case, I advise against it. Why, you ask? Oh yeah, graham cracker crust. And just make sure to leave a tiny bit of room at the top. We're going to put that back into a 350 degree oven for another 45 minutes. And let me tell you, what comes out after is twice as delicious as pumpkin pie. It's lighter and more refined. You really taste the individual spices in this one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you could smell what I'm smelling. And doesn't it just look beautiful? Make sure you cut a nice big slice of that pie. But before you get too tempted to dig right in, we're going to break out another mixing bowl because we're going to whip up some fresh homemade whipped cream to top it with. Two tablespoons sugar and one cup heavy cream is all it takes, and then beat it until it's whipped. It took me about five minutes until the consistency was perfect. Yes, you can use canned, but this is so much better. And the final touch, which if there are any children in the room, you might want to cover their eyes, fresh grated nutmeg. Oh yeah. Ask yourself, how could one slice of pie invoke so many emotions? If this was anything but food, it would probably require a mature audience's rating. Don't you agree? As always, thanks for watching.